Hey fellow pilots of the virtual skies, I received a Thrustmaster TCA throttle quadrant and the add-ons for Christmas and I've had quite a challenge setting them up on my sec uh, third party aircraft so I wanted to make a video to help you with some of those challenges. I must say the Zebo mod was the easiest of all. I didn't do anything for that and I actually haven't tried it on any of the default airplanes. Uh, the Tolus 319 and 321 was very easy, but not straightforward. Um, it wasn't the intuitive way, but it did. Once I knew what I was doing, it worked out fine. The jar designs so far has been the toughest. And um, right now I'm going into my SSG 747. And there's two challenges here. First of all, I want to see if I can get a four throttled aircraft, the aircraft of course has four engines, see if I can operate it with two throttles, uh, you know, maybe assigning uh, one and two engines, one and two to one throttle uh, arm and then three and four to the other throttle arm. But more importantly, to get the throttles working correctly and the thrust, of course, the one of the most uh, one of the great things about the TCA Quadrant is having the easy thrust reversers in the, in the real live way thrust reversers work instead of having to assign and press a, an outside button for thrust reversers. It's uh, very intuitive. It's actually part of the thrust reversal process. Well, this is taking a little while to load. Um, you know, I haven't used my 747 in a while and I know it's just had an upgrade to version 2.2 so um, 2.2 revision 3 is what I'm loading here the previous model was uh, was wonderful for quite a while okay looks like we're getting closer And I don't know, I don't remember if I, oh, I haven't even selected, yes, I did. I selected the aircraft. I don't remember if I selected it with engines running or not. It shouldn't matter. Okay, here we are. Seattle, Seattle Tacoma, Tacoma INTL INT Information Lima. 1300 Zulu weather. And as Wind I look at the throttles. Visibility more than 10. Sky clear. Oops. Temperature 1.4. 2.0. Altimeter 2992. Arriving runways 34 right, 34 center, 34 left. Departing runways 34 right, 34 center, 34 left. Advise on initial contact, you have Lima. My favorite add on is X camera. Well, I don't know where I'd be without it. Okay, here are my throttle quadrants, and let's see what they do just as a default. Okay, as a default, Seattle, Tacoma, number one ITL lever moves number one, and the reverser works. So that takes no alteration whatsoever. Number two works with the thrust reverser, no additions whatsoever. And there's flaps that works. Spoilers work. Arriving runways three four right. Fuel cut off four center. Three, four, three, left. Left. Okay, well, these are Airbus ways, controls. Three, right. I three, wouldn't four, expect center. them to work on the Boeing. Four, left. Advise on initial contact. But, you have um, generally, I'm happy with that. Let's just check the parking brake. Okay, parking brake doesn't work, but that's not unusual. Uh, probably have to find a special Seattle, Seattle, Tacoma, INTL But let's see Lima. if I can assign four throttles to two Visibility more than throttle uh, sky conditions 1600 broken okay. 3600 see what broken. I can do 5600 broken temperature 8 dew point 3 altimeter 3000 arriving of course if I just say left. throttle that will activate all four right. departing runway I don't know if I want to do that one six center one six right. That might just be the. Advise I'm afraid that might just be the solution. Um, let's just do that. 
I'm just going to assign. Let's look. Okay, here. Uh, notice I, I pushed edit response curve, and this is what you want to see. This is this positive area of the response curve is when you're moving in a forward direction, and then you have a transition area, and then your reverse. Now, notice it gets more powerful. Uh, this is a uh, in. Um, when you're in reverse, it's a uh, it's a uh, opposite of what you're seeing here. You actually get stronger as you bring it down. But this area in the throttle is so small between the last detent and the full aft position that basically when you go into reverse, you're you're basically at full reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign I'm going to assign nothing to throttle two. And I'm going to assign um, throttle to throttle one. So let's see what that does. Seattle see Tacoma INTL information Oh, oh, well, that is not probably won't work. Wind oh, there we go. Zero eight. Eight. There we Visibility go. More than 10. And then all the reverses come up together. I don't know if I want that spoiler Temperature eight, two point three. Altimeter three. Well, it can't hurt, right? You're on the ground. <laughs> okay, that's the way I'm gonna leave it. So, my number one, one six throttle. One six of course, I'm moving them both together. As you get in the habit of moving them both together, it affects all four. I just don't have individual uh, engine control until I get some type of quadrant with uh, with four thrust levers. Okay, mystery solved as I go rolling across the runway. Let me introduce you to the other aircraft and how easy it is for them. First I'll go to the hardest one, the jar design. And I've got a jar design A330. Temperature I can find it here. Arriving runways 16 left, 16 center, 16 right. Departing runways 16 left, 16 center, 16 right. Advise on initial contact. Okay, here's the here's the jar design A330, and the problem with this one is that it didn't have any accommodation for the TCA throttle quadrant, except a quick reference to it in the README as you set up the aircraft. The README says, go into your controls and designate a button under a JD TCA on. And I did that and it had absolutely no effect at all. But when I looked at the thrust curves, the, uh, the, um, they were simple thrust curves with no accommodation for reversers. So I went into the configuration and I set up the button, uh, one of the unused buttons, as the TCA master switch on. And that's what the README recommends that you do. But I found that it had absolutely no effect at all. So what I did was I went into the response curves. Okay, so there's the, there's the throttle. I've actually got them reversed. Throttle one ought to be throttle two. I just change that while I'm here. And throttle two ought to be throttle one. It really doesn't. I mean, if you're moving them together, it doesn't matter. But if you're moving them individually, it does. Now, okay, so you hit edit response curve. And when I started, there it was nothing. It was just a straight line, straight up here. So what you had to do is to tick this box that says has beta reverse detents. And what you want to do is have the transition point as vertical as possible. And you want to move this line as far to the right as possible so that the thrust setting is as low as it can be when you make the transition from forward thrust into reversers. So right now it's showing at about 30%. It's really, and I'll tell you, 
why when we get to the tolis. Um, but having done that, now you'll notice that when I move the thrust reversers, they operate as they should. Now there's idle. Here's first detent, which notices the climb detent. This is where you would usually be after you've taken off and you're out of toga or you're out of flex detent. You move, there's a detent in the throttle. That's the climb. Anywhere below climb is the auto thrust. Should be auto thrust for normal crews. So anywhere in here, it doesn't matter. But the climb detent is what you first come to after you've taken off and you come out of uh, flex tip or token. So the next detent is flex tip. You feel a little detent there. And then the one, the highest one is token. So you should have token, flex tip, climb, full idle. And then when you pull the reversers, the reversers should come on. Okay, so that's the A330, and I believe, of course, the same way for the A320 by uh, flight tracker. So, let's go to the easiest one. The easiest one by far was Taurus. Now, again, you're inclined to immediately start fiddling with the joystick configurations. The joystick configurations aren't what does it. Tolis has its own menu. I think this might be a Tolis airplane that I haven't yet configured. So that'll work well for us. It doesn't matter. Once you know what you're doing, it, it becomes very easy. Hmm. X plane may just crash right here. I don't know why, but it, well, it's not crashed yet, but it's not doing a lot. <laughs> yep, it crashed. Okay, that's fine. We'll get it back. So Latolis menu is in the uh, in the furthest left column from the upper drop down, I'm sorry. The further yes, the furthest left column is the I believe is the plugins column, and Tolis should be among them. It's the same uh, menu you would use to set up your fuel load and your passenger load. There's a tab. I believe it's the second from the right that says joystick configuration. And this is for third party joysticks. And again, uh, if you just have a simple joystick, you probably don't need this. But the TCA throttle, there's, there's a, one absolutely critical setting that you need to make. And of course, and I mentioned the reason I'm making this video is because I tried everything. I, I, I first I went to the X plane joystick configurations. I tried to adjust. What was happening was that the thrust reverser would work, but I would be at a very high idle setting. I'd be at 30, 40 percent power in idle, and the uh, the image on the screen did not match my physical image of the position of the throttles. It was always way too high. Idle was at about 30 uh, percent. When I went into reversers, that's when the uh, the screen showed that I was at idle, but I was actually in reverse. So uh, very frustrating until I learned the secret. And I must say, I just, there wasn't a lot of support on the internet. There weren't a lot of other resources to go to, so it was mostly a matter of trial and error, but the biggest thing was getting me away from the X-Plane joystick configuration because I, I desperately wanted to manipulate that response curve so that it would show a lower idle setting. But uh, that wasn't the key after all. Just a little while longer. This, uh, to my Tolis airplanes have just been a joy to fly. 
I'm told that the toilet operation is basically a, a one or a two or a three person operation. There's not a lot of infrastructure behind them. But, you know, um, along with the A320 takeoff performance calculator, which you can find online, uh, I find the loading very intuitive. Um, in the near future, it might rival, you know, the new uh, A32NX for MSFS now has the ability to import SimBrief data right through the uh, AOC, right through the McDo, and that is a game changer. And if the other simulators, especially in X-Plane, can follow suit, uh, we've got quite, quite a realistic simulator. But you know, I, I'm glad I'm glad I'm not coming into the flight sim world without having to do a little bit of flight planning. Because even though it's so simple now with SimBrief and with the ability to import your flight plans, um, there's still it's nice to know the background behind uh, how those flight plans came about, how those performance numbers came about. Okay, here we are in the Tolis. And again, you're, you're tempted to go up to the joystick Hello, to configure, Stud but Muffin. don't do that. You're My in the plug-in menu. Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. I am Tolis your first officer Tolis today. today. No, I'm sorry. Tolis, that's for the co-pilot. Tolis, okay, plug-in menu, drop down to Tolis, open ISCS screen, and here, second from the right, is the joystick brightness. And what you'll want to do is... F1 and F2 can toggle reverses. Turn that to off. Reverse on same axis. This is critical. Turn that to on. Now, um, once that's on, and you move your throttles up and down, you're going to notice... Now, this one has not been set up. Take a look at the position of my throttles. This is, had not yet been set up. Um, okay, reverse on same axis, set that to on. Okay. Oh, look what happened immediately. Okay, when that was off, that the middle of the uh, auto throttle, that's, that's idle for me. It shouldn't be idle for me. I should be... Now, this is with reversers on. It's showing idle, but I should be in reverse at this point, according to my throttle position. So that to my throttle position is reverse. That is idle. That is uh, climb. Right there is uh, flex, uh, flex, and up there is toga. But as soon as you flip this reverse on same access, it's going to fix a lot of it. Notice how now idle represents where idle should be. And if I pull back on the reversers, that's where reverse should be. And if that's all you wanted to do, there's climb, there's flex, and there are de you can feel the detents as you move your throttles back and forth. And up at the top, that's toga. You could stop at this point and you would be fine, but don't do that. Uh, what I recommend you do, go ahead and pull your throttles to idle. Look at this raw value one and two. Mine says 28.5 and, and 3. They're, each throttle is, is slightly different. So what you want to do is you want to find a compromise number between those two and move this first bar to that number position. So for me, it would be about 29. 29 is what I'm looking for. There you go. Now, now move your physical throttle into the climb position, the next detent. And once you're there, minus between 51 and 52. This is showing 51, actually 52 and 52 and a half. I'm going to move it to 52 right there. Okay, and now move it to the next detent, which is your flex temp detent. Look at that value. I'm at 73. It's showing 73. That's just perfect. And the last, the full detent, there's no, uh, there's no uh, uh, slide for that. But you can see 
1.0 shows that it's all the way up. So you have now calibrated your uh, throttles to match the uh, the uh, flight sim. You have you have full reverse, which anything behind any okay. There's full reverse. There's idle. There's climb. Now anything between climb and idle is your normal auto throttle setting. There's flex temp. And there is toga. Okay, we've covered the um, SSG. We covered the flight factor and we covered the TOLUS. As I mentioned, the Zebo mod did not need any special configuration. And at this point, I think you're golden. Happy flying. Enjoy your day as I will enjoy mine.